the entire climate debate can be ignored to some extent because this is happening and you can see it. It's happening, prepare for it. Stop arguing about it. This part of climate change is happening. Most of the things that we do are focused on saving communities valuable resources and money because they have a lot of things competing for their funds and so they can't go throwing a hundred million dollars someplace else. And, and that has been the focus of our entire Estrin project for the last 20 years is trying to work with communities to find innovative, cheaper solutions. What we deal with more is what can we see and then what can we project would be the case. So we're, we're interested in shoreline change, so we look at shoreline change mainly as it affects Estrin health. And as the sea levels go up, the freshwater levels go up, you, nobody notices it because they change uh, up and down a lot due to droughts and all that. But they're slowly going up and then that has effects on, on uh, wastewater treatment, on drinking water supplies, on all those things. So we're looking at some of those. Our wetland part of sea level rise is, is much closer to my heart, which has to do with the survival and persistence of wetlands. And the, the hope there is, is that we're going to be able to come up with innovative solutions to not having the salt marshes drowned. If the sea level rises too fast, then the plants will eventually be underwater too long and they literally drown. And then you lose your marsh. And that's a real problem. That bothers me more than a shoreline retreat or things like that. And I think that's critical because it, it affects so many aspects of the coastal system. And it affects economics, but it affects fisheries. And we're big on fisheries around here. And, and so is New Bedford. So that's particularly important. But wetlands in and of themselves are inherently have a whole large number of positives that they give us for free. And if we lose them, then we'll have to start paying for those things.